Many of you guys examination has arrived or maybe arriving soon or till the date you are watching this video your examination would have always been passed out. So guys I am Ashish from Arizona Technico and guys in today's video I am going to tell you about two wonderful apps that you can use for concentrating particularly in your study or any kind of work. So what I generally do I go for study on my study desk and I keep my phone for charging. I just study for 30 minutes and go back to phone picking out for Facebook or Instagram and directly I switch between the apps and continuously I pass on hours and hours between Facebook, Instagram and YouTube itself. Sorry for the noise. So yeah guys generally that is the case with all of us. So I just picked uh, two of the apps. I started using them a couple of days back and just I like the app so much that I'm going for making this video so guys this is your host ashish here from adreno technico and let's get started hey guys as you can see that the first app that i have downloaded is the stay focused app now you can download the app directly from the play store Basically, you need to grant all the permissions like the accessibility, screen overlay, etc. I am using an Oppo phone, so that's an obvious issue. And if you are using an Android one smartphone, then it won't be an issue. Now you need to click the icon or the app which you want to block for a specific period of time. You will get certain options like strict mode and legal mode and all legit modes. So basically I will be selecting the quick mode so as I want to show you a demo of how this app works you can select the limit or time period for which you want to block the app which you doesn't want to use during your study purpose. So as you can see there are three options usage time, restriction time and the quick block. I will be using the quick block basically and I am just showing you all the options the layout of the app. The app is the size of the app is only 2.8 MB so it isn't a great deal to download that app. Now selecting the quick block option I am selecting the time for which the app should be blocked. As you can see Adobe Acrobat is blocked guys. Now let me move to the app and show you how does the this app stay focused works on. As you can see I turn on the Adobe Acrobat and you will see a certain kind of notation or a good quote or let's say a motivational quote will pop up of here and as you can see I won't be able to access any content of the app even you can see that as I as soon I touch the screen some advertisement may come or let's say white background will come and you can download this app directly from the play store uh, it's rated 4.5 and there are 50,000 downloads of this app So guys another app that I want to showcase is the forest app. The size of the app is 58 MB. I know you would be wondering that why it is so high compared to that 2.8 MB app. But I would be telling the reason soon. Now as you can see that you get a circular disk interface around the sapling that you want to grow. As the time will pass, suppose let's say the timing I have kept is 15 minutes. I won't be fubbing on my phone for 15 minutes so if you won't touch your phone for 15 minutes the tree will grow fully and it's kind of based on the human emotions so let's see that you are getting some kind of message that stop fubbing now let me open facebook and see the reaction of the app okay so here you can see let me open any any app any social networking app 
you can see that my phone will start vibrating and you will get a pop-up message that forest will die if i won't be focusing on my studies or let's say any task i am i have assumed to be performed as you can see i just gave up and my sapling just died yeah so it's basically on human emotions if you don't want the sapling to die you will basically study hard okay so hey guys as you just saw so hey guys as you just saw in the video i have kept the link for downloading both of the apps by app list in the description box below let me give you the honest review of both of the apps the first app that was the forest app basically is a kind of large size if you are using a 2 gb ram phone that it will heat up your phone basically but nowadays it isn't the case basically i would recommend forest forest app basically more because uh, that app uses ai of your smartphone processor basically the snapdragon media tech or samsung exynos processor so basically what it will do suppose you set the timing for 50 minutes for any of your work sorry for the voice if you set up timing let's say 50 minutes for any of the work you are going to do let's say study work or any kind of work then the next day you will be going to the app it will again set the timings to 50 minutes itself and it will recognize your daily schedule based on the monday to saturday timings you are having and the next month or the next year you'll be using the app it will be quite familiar to you you'll also get daily motivations like don't uh, stop popping and just go back to your work go back to your desk whatever message you can set for it now the another app that is the stay focused app that is basically only for study purposes uh, the size of the app itself uh, is around 2.8 mb that doesn't uses any kind of uh, ai that just uses smartphone triggers and as soon as uh, you will go to the app that you have locked it will just show some kind of motivational quotes that go and focus on your goals itself as i am focusing on youtube itself so that's the kind of thing uh, both of the apps i will recommend the forest app more but if you are kind of saving storage space on your smartphone then you can go for the stay focused app that uh, i will leave the link in the description box itself also so guys this was all for today's video this is your host ashish here from adrino technico and if you end up liking this video please press that like button and also subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you can get daily notifications of my channel and i would like to or i would try to post sorry i would try to post videos every week and that's all so i hope to see you in my next video